Hi everyone. I just want to start off saying thank you very much to all of you for your amazing support on my over-engineering episode. Uh, just the response to it was amazing and I was just overwhelmed, so I can't thank you guys enough. But one of the common questions I got on that video was how the sand duplication worked. So that's what I'm going to show you today. The first thing we're going to do is make a smart piston. And this is a fairly common smart piston design. So when a block gets placed here, it will power this redstone dot, which will power this block and therefore this piston. But the cool thing about this is if you watch the redstone dot, it's not even lighting up. That's because this is a really, really short pulse, um, much less than one tick. Uh, some people say it's zero ticks. I'm not sure if that's really the case, but the point is it's, it's a very quick pulse. But we can use this if we put a sticky piston um, powered from that pulse and give it two very short pulses, it will actually duplicate that two sand into three sand. If we do it again, we've got now four sand. So that's the bug that, that causes the sand to duplicate. But let's take a look at that in slow motion and see if we can work out what it's actually doing. So I think what's happening here is the first pulse pushes both sand up and the second pulse grabs that sand back just as it's beginning to fall, like at exactly the same moment. So I think the game's glitching out, doesn't know what to do and it ends up duplicating the sand. At least that's my theory. So now we're gonna automate this a little. I've just put a sticky piston on top of this piston here and a sticky piston above the repeater with an air gap in here. So I'm going to put three blocks of sand on top of each and then a normal piston facing in so that it'll push the sand in front of our smart piston here. And the same one here this side. We're going to wire up uh, these two pistons to the output of this signal here. Just like that. And we're going to wire these two pistons together. So when we activate this lever here, it's going to push this sand block and this sand block in front of the smart piston, sending two pulses to, to reduplicate this sand. Just like that. Now I want to be clear that I did not come up with the idea to use uh, these um, pistons here to push the sand. Originally that was JL2579's design. I'll put his video in the description. Um, so what we could do now, if you just wanted a single um, sand duplicator, we could just hook up a clock to this and it would just keep duplicating until you, you know, ran out of room to duplicate more sand. However, if you want to uh, have multiple duplicating pistons, you could put them along a row here, for example, and wire them all to the output. And this will work as long as you don't use a repeater. Because this pulse is less than one tick, a repeater will lengthen that pulse and it won't work. So it has to be wired directly, you can't use repeaters here. And I'm gonna put two sand on top of each. And we'll give it a pulse. And it's duplicated all of them. But if they're the ones you're using for duplication, these ones are just waste. So what we can do is dispose of them. We're going to do that with some half slabs and some lava. I'm going to dig down two blocks and put half slabs. When sand falls on it, so when sand falls on it, it's going to break. And if we put lava on top of them, when the sand goes on top, it breaks and gets destroyed. So now when we do our duplication, These duplicate, and these ones just throw the waste sand away. So let's put a clock on this so that it'll run by itself. We're gonna use three ticks on all of these repeaters, except for one of them, where you just use two ticks, and I found this is the fastest it can possibly run. We're gonna activate it with a piston so that we can turn it on and off. So we're gonna put a sticky piston there. And we're going to put a torch here and a lever there. 
So now, when we activate this lever, it will start the clock and start the duplicate. So then it's up to you how you get that sand away from the generator and what you want to do with it. But in this example, I'm going to set up a set of pistons that will push the sand off to the side. So I'm just going to put some pistons here. And if we put those on a delay of three ticks, that should work. So let's try it out. That seems good. So that's pretty much it. Just a word of warning guys, uh, this is exploiting a bug in the game. Um, and although this does work on single player, multiplayer, um, it works on 1.2.5, it also works on the new snapshots. Um, if you are going to be making this or using this bug in a multiplayer server, please check to make sure that it won't get you banned first because there are some servers that will consider this cheating and, and sometimes you'll get banned. So just be really careful about that if you're using this on multiplayer. But uh, that's all. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.